Jay Rhodes for Thomas McEwen and NOLA.com at Woodlawn High School with Charles Brooks and Ryan Williams, a couple seniors who both relatively recently committed to Nickel State. And I guess really starting out, guys, what does it mean to, to have that opportunity? Um, both of y'all were, were waiting to see what kind of panned out with some of these colleges and Nickel's offers, and, and y'all both commit. What does it mean to have that opportunity to go play some football? Uh, it means a lot. Like, uh, not a lot of people can go on to the next level and play football. And we was blessed to have the opportunity to go to the next level and play for something that we really love and to continue to play it to the next level. And especially with somebody like you grew up with talking about playing college ball and now that we live in our dreams, it just it's just fun. It just makes it makes me proud, makes my family proud to see that I'm accomplishing something that they love to see me do. Yeah, Ryan, same type of deal. Charles had committed about about a month ago, maybe a little more than a month ago, and you were just in the last couple of days here. Um, when that offer came, and it was it was some place that Charles had already committed to. What were some of the things y'all maybe talked about, or the things that you were thinking? I mean, when he committed, like I remember that night he told me he committed. Like a couple minutes later, Coach Bruce called me. He was like, uh, "You got to come to the school tomorrow because uh, Nicholas was going to talk to you." But I was sick, so I was like, "I don't know if I can go or not." But then. They're saying the next day I end up going, and he, they showed interest and stuff. So then weeks pass, and went pass, and I ended up getting like uh, interest from our University of Arkansas Monticello. And Nicholas wasn't really talking to me a lot, so then I just thought, okay, Nicholas not coming. So then that Friday, I went to class, and then Coach came to me out of class, and then Coach Scott, he was standing right there, and he told me I'm going to office, I'm going to come to school, and I committed that same night. Y'all have both talked to other schools during the process. What do y'all like about Nichols, really, that, that kind of made that feel like it's a, it's a good place to be? Uh, the thing I like about Nichols was, like, they treated me like family. The first day they came to talk to me, they they was loyal. They stayed, they stayed in contact with me through everything. Uh, before they even had coaches, they still believed that I could do something with their, uh, to change the team. I like the brotherhood. Like when the when we met, when I met the players, it just felt like I was already at home. Like they already accepted me in their family, and I like the humbleness and the uh, like the loyalness from the coaches. Coach Rebo, he was humble and he was down to earth. Same thing. This coach style. I knew Coach Rebo. I like. I looked him up like a long time ago, and like I saw how he was with uh, A. Reed for a long time ago. And I was like, okay, that could be me one day. I just know how good, how good he was in the ULL. And when he offered out, I was like, I gotta do it. Just an opportunity. I gotta take it. To have two guys going from Woodlawn, too, where there, have been, there haven't been these huge recruiting classes or anything through the years, what does it mean to y'all made obvious progress on the field uh, the last couple of years, and, and now y'all have two guys right now committed to go play college football? It just shows the job the coach has done with us and how, how they kept us on track the whole time. And like when Coach Beard came and he he got the rest of the coaching staff on board, they just put it in our heads that we can do anything we put our minds to, whether it's a classroom or on the field. And that's a, that's the mindset we took. Um, going to college. <laughs> um, you mentioned Nichols being in touch with you even when they didn't have the the coaching staff figured out, and then Coach Rebo comes in and he's a guy that a lot of players in the area were familiar with when he was recruiting the area for UL. What was that process like? Who? Who was kind of keeping your ear for Nichols, and then what was your immediate reaction to to Coach Rebo taking that job? Uh, Coach Clark, he kept in touch with me. He was the main one talking to me through the whole process. And like when I heard that Coach Rebo took the job, I was like, just it's like similar to what Coach Beard did here. Like he changed the uh, system, he changed the whole uh, system around, and I feel like Coach Rebo can do the same at Nichols State. You do a really good job of leading into like the next the next topic. I was going to ask y'all, you know, what are the expectations at Nichols? Obviously, Coach Repo knows that he has a, a task ahead of him in terms of, of building that program back in a in a more positive direction. What are some of the things that that he's talked with you guys about of, of what he expects from y'all or, or what y'all should expect from him and that staff? I mean, he told me the other night he was like he told his coaches in every position go get the players you want, you coach them up, you don't do this. I, mean, I know he has a lot of faith in us as far as getting back back on track with the football program. So, you know, we've done a few big things in a few years.
big expectations. Uh, yeah, he just wants us to grow as a family and everybody on the same page. And people, like, everybody has a certain job on the field, a certain job on the team, even if you're not playing. It's like, if you're not playing, you should cheer on the next person. And it just, it's a big, it's a big uh, deal. Like, if you're not on the field, you just you can't just be mad that you're not playing. You just still gotta just cheer on the people that's on your team because it's it helps a lot for them and encourage them to do better. You made the comparison to Coach Beard and, and company, just the the direction going the positive direction and whatnot. Did, when you hear them talk about things like that in Nichols, do y'all have a sense of man? We just I mean we, we know what that's about. But we can do that. I mean, kind of, but it's like it's different, but it's still the same as far as like us. It's the same because we know we can get better, just like you got better here before the beard came, so it's not really a big deal. You know, put our mind to something, so I'm good, go have it. So, that's the thing. Same deal. Yeah. Ryan Williams, Charles Brooks over at Woodlawn High School, Jerry Rose for Tospicunino.com.